Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Make a the hour is coming is now, and the true worshiper shall worship the Father. The Father seeks such to worship him. God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Then will I bring to my holy mountain, saith God, and make them joyful in my house. For my house shall be called the house of prayer for all people. David said, make a joyful noise. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord is God. It's he that have made us and not we ourselves. We, we, we are his people. We are the sheep of his pastor. Enter in his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. And bless his name. The Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. The word of the Lord is blessed. Oh, yes. Father God, in Jesus' name, we come today to thank you. We realize this is the day that you've made, and we're going to be glad, and we're going to rejoice in it. Overtake this service today. Somebody's listening. Somebody can't make it. Somebody's back up is against the wall. Somebody's sick in body. Somebody's depressed in mind. God, reach out today. Reach out to that sinner. Reach out to that that alcoholic reach out to that dope addict god let somebody be touched by this radio broadcast bless the preach word today god you do these things we won't take the glory with the glory and honor shall be thine in the wonderful name of jesus we pray amen now let's give god some praise
God bless you. God bless you. This is the day that the Lord have made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Certainly God is good. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. Certainly we thank and praise God for this day and for this hour and for the opportunity and ability to worship the Lord on this, the second Sunday uh, in the month of September, September 13th the year of our Lord, 2020. And this is the Greater Burnett Church of Detroit, Michigan, the church that still burns with heavenly fire and sinners are caught within Christ's spiritual net. Certainly, we honor God, we honor our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the precious gift of the Holy Spirit that indwells within us. And we thank God for each and every one of you tuning in with us to our morning worship these services are streamed every sunday via facebook youtube instagram twitter and our greaterburnett.org website certainly uh, we thank god for uh, even in the midst of this pandemic where numbers are rising right here in the state of michigan we thank and praise god that we have the ability to come where you are to come where you are and to worship the Lord together in spirit and in truth. We thank God for all that helped us to make this possible. Certainly, we invite you to worship with us anytime via this outlet, via our radio ministry at 11.30 a.m. each Sunday, 14.40 WMKM, we invite you to uh, worship with us. And then we invite you to pray with us each and every day of the week, Monday through Saturday. We pray every day. We pray Monday uh, and through Saturday, most days at 7 a.m. and at 6 p.m. on Tuesdays. We invite you to join us not only for prayer at 7 a.m., but for our Christian Stewards Bible Institute that takes place at 12 noon on Tuesday and at 6 p.m. on Tuesday. We also invite you to share with us on Saturdays where we pray at 6 p.m. only. But all those other days beside Tuesday and Saturday, we're praying at 7 p.m a.m. and we're praying at 6 p.m. and you're invited to share with us on our Greater Burnett Family Conference line. The Spirit of the Lord is there with us even on that conference line and we invite you to share with us. Certainly we thank and praise God for the members of this church, our administration and uh, our ushers, nurses, our music ministry, all those that served yesterday for the homegoing services of Mother Callie Lawson. Mother Lawson was a very dedicated and dutiful part of this congregation, and we certainly thank you all for being present, prepared, and willing to participate in her homegoing services. Certainly, we are still praying for the Lawson family at this hour of bereavement. We're also praying for our own sister, Sheila Flowers, our own mother, Edna Palmer, and family. We're praying for our own mother, Alma Williams, who I pray is able to watch us today from her home. I'm praying for all of our sick, shut in, and bereaved, and incarcerated. We want you all to know that God certainly is in the prayer hearing, prayer answering business. Uh, we know that the prayers of the righteous avail of much. And as we prepare for prayer, and as we prepare to go to the throne of grace, we may not know you by name, but God does. We may not know your address, but God does. 
We may not know what you're dealing with. We may not know what you're going through. But God does. And it's imperative that you know that. Because since God knows, you know that he's able. If he knows, he's able. And since he's able, he knows. And as we go to the throne of grace, asking God to keep us, whatever your prayer request is, praying for Sister Bertha Pringle down in Georgia. Thank you, Sister Pringle. Lord, I want to live for thee. Mary Taylor, bless you today. We're praying for you. Fernando Daniels, we're praying for you. Bless you, Trustee Henry. We're praying for you, Sister Florine Burks, all the way in Georgia. Those calls, those calls from Iowa, from Illinois that we received this week. We're praying for you. We're praying for you. Those calls from Dallas, Texas. Those watching in Mississippi, we're praying for you today. We're praying for you, Sister Sylvia Claiborne. Praying for you, Sister Mary Washington. Oh, keep my tongue. Praying for the family of Brother Warren Green today. It's prayer time. Praying for Sister Maggie Williams today. Oh, 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 keep. Praying for the Robinson family. Praying for the Jones family. Praying for Brother Ford today who's in the hospital. Praying for Deacon Bob Poole today. Oh, Keith. Praying for Brother Eldridge Green this morning. Keep me up. Father, our God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, our eternal home. It is again another Lord's Day, another beginning of the week that you've allowed a few of your children to gather in many different locations, but under the umbrella of this virtual worship and under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, 
Thank you, sir. You, our Father, have been good to us. Better to us than we could have ever been to ourselves. You woke us up this morning. Started us on our way. You gave us a reasonable portion of health and strength. The activity of our limbs clothed in our right mind. Thank you, sir. You've looked beyond our faults, seen and supplied all of our needs according to your riches in glory. Oh, Father, we come today. Come on behalf of those, those names that we called. Come on behalf of those names that we have not called. Those names that have not mentioned. Those names that we don't even know. We ask for a touch from thy powerful hand today. We ask you, oh God, to have mercy on us. We ask you, O oh God, to touch sick, shut in, bereaved, and incarcerated all over this land and all over this world. We ask you, O oh God, to touch those under the sound of my feeble voice, whether in radio land or whether on social media. Touch in the name of Jesus. We ask you, O oh God, to touch this world, touch this nation, prick the hearts of your people, touch the church of God today, the ecclesia, the entire body of Christ, in the name of Jesus. Touch the educational system, touch the judicial system, touch Polity and government all over this world. Touch monarchies today. Touch criminals today. Touch sinner men, women, boys, and girls. That we may be better. Lay your hands on us, Jesus. We don't mind. From the top of our head to the sole of our feet. Let a fresh anointing fall on us right now. Right where we are. Right where we are, God. Let us feel your presence. Right where we are, oh God. Let us feel your power right where we are, oh God. Send the fresh wind to blow on us. Have your weight. Bless this day. Have your weight. Bless this week. Oh, Lord, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what tomorrow holds. But the truth is, we don't know what today holds. But oh, Lord, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, prop us up. On every leading side. Where we're weak. Make us strong. Where we're sick. Heal us. Where we're troubled. Rescue us. Where we're lost. Find us. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, thank you for 
for you yesterday. Thank you for last week. Thank you for last month. Thank you for last year. Thank you for the days of yesteryear. But thank you for the work that you're doing in us right now. Oh, Lord. Thank you for the work that you're performing in us. You didn't leave us back there. But you brought us to this moment. You brought us to this time. You brought us to this day. And I don't believe. And I don't believe. Oh Lord. I don't believe. Woo. You brought us this far. To leave us now. Don't leave us Jesus. Hold our hand. Don't leave us Jesus. Guide our feet. Don't leave us Jesus. Order our steps. In your word. Oh Lord. One day, one of these old days, being led by you, will have to come to the banks of Jordan, stick our sword in the sand of time. But when it's all over, When it's all over In a dying hour Come so close That I can lay my head on your breast And until that day comes We love you We trust you we worship you, we praise you, we exalt you, we extol you, you're worthy Jesus, our wonderful Jesus, our wonderful Jesus, thank you in advance. In Jesus' name. In, in Jesus' name. There's power in that name. That's why we seal our prayer. In your name, your holy name, your righteous name, your mighty name, amen, amen. In Jesus' name. May the Lord God bless you real good. Thank you. In Jesus' name.
Amen. Thank God. I pray that you're with us. I pray that you're with us. I pray that you're with us. As we worship the Lord, I pray that you are engaged in this God is in control radio outreach ministry. I pray that you're engaged in this Burnett Everywhere virtual worship experience. I pray that you're engaged with us. Sing. Amazing Grace How How sweet Have mercy Lord the, the sound that, that saves a, a That I want to just sing just one more. Through, through me. Jesus oh the come yes twas twas it was Will 
Consider the fifth chapter of the first epistle of the Apostle Paul to the church at Thessalonica. First Thessalonians chapter five. First Thessalonians. Chapter 5. First Thessalonians, Chapter 5. The eighteenth verse. <laughs> oh, thank God for grace. First Thessalonians, I'm moving on. Grace, 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 grace. Grace woke me up this morning. Grace started me on my way. I want at least 50 of you out there that can comment if you can type it type it but if you can just say it say it thank God for grace wherever you are just I'll give you 60 seconds. Let's go on and thank God for grace. Thank 
God's grace. Ooh, God's grace. Thank God for grace. Come on, I should have at least 50 folk out there that can just say, Thank God for grace. All right, all right. All right. Let's try to do a little preaching if we can. God for grace. Thank God, thank God, thank God. All right, we're going to try to. Thank God for grace. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Thank God. Thank God. Sister Wilma Ruffin, thank God for grace. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God today. <laughs> Thank God today. Phyllis and that. Thank God today. Thank God for grace. Thank God for grace. I've asked you to 
consider Janice Marshall. Janice Williams, thank God for grace. God's riches at Christ's expense. Thank God for grace. gonna try one more time <laughs> for the plumber I'm gonna try one more time Thank God for Jesus. Thank Jesus for the Holy Spirit. Thank God for grace. I'm gonna try. If I don't make it this time, I'm just going to give it up. <laughs> but I... I don't... I want the Lord to get the glory. Sister Stevenson, he's been good to us. All right, all right, all right. This is the church that still burns with heavenly fire. We're talking about some 67 years. This church has been on fire and we're still burning. The fire have not gone out. In this first Thessalonian chapter 5 verse 
18. It says, in everything, give thanks. <laughs> For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. <laughs> in everything. <laughs> in everything. Give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Thank you. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. On last week, we talked about the promise is under pressure. This week, we're going to talk about Praise under pressure. Praise under pressure. It is no doubt without question or much consideration that these days in which we live in a tough times. On this past week, as I watched my children, my girls engage in virtual learning, I saw confusion. I saw lack of understanding. I saw pressure, not just on the parental side of the educational system, but amongst educators themselves trying to control a virtual classroom with parents in the background or guardians in the background cussing, fussing, and having conversation. Children who are restless and tired of looking at a screen. These are tough times. But I would like to suggest that even in these Dr. Smith tough times, we are mandated to give God thanks. Have I got a witness? Even in these days of frustration, even in these days of challenge, of crises, of turmoil, of obstacles, even in these days of pressure, we are mandated to give God thanks. No, we're not mandated to wait till the turkey and dressing is on the table to thank the Lord. But 
we ought to thank God at all times. For I heard David say the other day in my spiritual ears, I will bless the Lord at all times. Not sometimes. I wish you'd pray with me just a little while. I, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise, <laughs> yeah, shall continually be in my mouth. And although these are terrible some days, troublesome days, Days of aggravation and agitation and frustration. We are still mandated. To thank the Lord. It is the theologian. Charles Spurgeon who said. Here. Is a standing reason for thanksgiving. Although we may not always be healthy, yeah. nor always prosperous, yet God is always good. And therefore, there is always a sufficient argument for giving thanks unto Jehovah that he is a good God essentially that he cannot be otherwise than good and that should be a fountain out of which the richest praises should perpetually flow Oh, my brothers and my sisters. It is imperative, based on what Dr. Spurgeon said, that we understand that God's attribute of being good is enough and enough alone to always be thankful. And so it is. Paul writes to this church at Thessalonica. This church who at the time of this first writing, this first epistle, this first Letter is only believed to be two or three years old. This church believed to have been a young church on the move for God. Paul writes to them from Corinth somewhere around the year of our Lord A.D. 51. Paul writes to them concerning three main things. He writes to them about persecution. For the church at this time was being severely persecuted. Ah, he writes to them about Hope to remind them that even in the midst of their persecution, they should keep their hope in the Lord. And then he writes to them about preparation. 
being prepared for the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And it is on these themes that he writes this letter. And he... Uh, in this particular pericope is bringing this letter to a close. He will go on to have to write them, Brother Clay, Brother King, again. But this particular letter in chapter 5, starting around verse 11, ah, he's beginning to sign off now. It is in this sign off around verse 11 that he gives them some final advice and some final instruction. First of all, he tells them around verse 11 to build each other up. And oh, my brothers and sisters, we should not be in the tearing down business. We ought to be in the building up business. Have mercy, Lord. He tells them in verse 12 of this chapter to honor leadership. He knew that would be an issue, but that's another sermon for another day. In verse 14, he tells them, don't be lazy. He tells them to help the weak, to encourage the timid. Verse 13, he also tells them to live in peace. In 14, he tells them to be patient. In 15, he tells them to resist revenge. In 16, he tells them to be joyful. In 17, he tells them to pray continually. In 19, he tells them not to stifle the Holy Spirit. In 20, he tells them not to scoff at prophecies. In 22, he tells them to avoid every kind of evil. In 23, he tells them to count on God's consistent help. But in verse 18, he says in everything, Give thanks. Help me now. He says in everything. Give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Lest I hold you too long, there are three things I would like to suggest from this one verse. First of all, in pertaining to thankfulness, our conduct should be continuous. Which is to suggest that we should always have or possess or gender and attitude of gratitude. Have I got a witness? Our conduct should be continuous in all things. All is inclusive. Meaning, no matter what thing, is still a thing that is worthy of giving God thanks. That's a challenge for us to have this continuous conduct, Sister Naomi, because 
many of the challenges, what I like to call the vicissitudes of life, warn us to feel down, to feel discouraged, to feel despondent, to feel depressed. However, this preacher Paul suggests to the church that even in a pandemic, even in unemployment, even in the midst of all that's going on in our world, God is still worthy of our thanks. He suggests to us that our conduct of thanksgiving, our attitude of gratitude, should always be contagious and continuous. For it is that attitude if it be advantageous, it is that attitude of gratitude that allows us to persevere even under pressure. Have I got a witness? Secondly, he says, Brother Holloway, that our conversation should not be predicated on our condition. He says, in everything, tell God thank you. This is kind of hard. This is kind of tough. Because there are those who would suggest that when trouble comes, is not time to thank God. There are those who think that in seasons of suffering and in moments of misery that we ought to be angry with God. You remember Job's wife, don't you? It was in Job's season of suffering that his wife advised him not to bless God, but she advised him to curse God and die. Ah, but the text here is tailored to teach us that no matter what our condition is, our conversation should always be consistent in that we ought to praise God all the time. Have I got a witness? And I know, I know, I know some of you think I'm talking Spanish or Swahili. But I've come to find out that there is power in praise. Have I got a witness? There is power in blessing God. There is power in thanking God. Matter of fact, I've come to find out that when you bless God, God will bless you. Have I got a witness? Somebody knows what I'm talking about. You've been some, through some things and you were still able to say hallelujah anyhow. You, you've had some sicknesses, you've had some trials, you've had some tribulations, but like Tremaine Hawkins, you never lost your praise. You've been, you've been blessed to continuously praise God in the midst of suffering, in the midst of trial, in the midst of tests, in the midst of tribulation. You've been able to be consistent in knowing that God is your help and he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Finally, he teaches us that our concern should be the will of God. <clears throat> he says it all things. Give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 
God's design, God's will. God's will should be our top priority. Am I got a witness? God's will should be our top priority. We need not concern ourselves with anything that is outside of the will of God. And God says, he wants you to thank him. God says he wants you to praise him. This is his will. This is his agenda. This is his desire. This is his plan. And he has fixed it for you. Through Christ Jesus. Have mercy, Lord. It is imperative that we know as I hurry to a close, it's imperative that we know that even in these days of pressure, God wants our praise. Have I got a witness? You know, some of us, if you be honest, are challenged by this. For sometimes it gets hard. Now, I know you're super spiritual. I know you're oversaved. I know you're a junior Jesus. But sometimes in pressure-like situations, praise is the last thing on our mind. But Paul encourages the church. Don't do it just because you can do it. Do it because God wants you to do it. As I close, I tell you, in May of 2019, I found myself hospitalized. I found myself in Beaumont Hospital. I must leave you. I found myself uh, with my back to a hospital bed. I found myself with my eyes looking up to a ceiling. The ceiling of the hospital. And I began to quote this verse, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. The man in the hospital room with me began to laugh as I quoted this passage of scripture. I say he laughed, Dr. Smith. And he laughed and asked me, why would you thank God at a time like this? He laughed and was tickled pink. And the more he laughed, the more I said in everything, give thanks. For this is, this is, this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 
<laughs> that man asked me after a little while, he raised the question again. Sir, why are you thanking God at a time like this? Yes. I told him, just because I feel bad doesn't take away from the fact that God is still good. And just because I'm in the hospital doesn't mean that God isn't good anymore. Because when I look back over my life, all of my good days, I weigh my bad days. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell God, thank you. Mm -hmm. Have I got a witness? He didn't promise me that the road would be easy. Well, 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 well. He didn't promise me that life would be smooth sailing. Mm -hmm. But I thank the Lord. That I've learned how to say thank you, Jesus, mm -hmm. even when I'm under pressure, mm -hmm. Donald Trump pressure, mm -hmm. virtual school pressure, mm -hmm. death is all around me pressure, mm -hmm. sickness is everywhere pressure, mm -hmm. COVID-19 pressure, mm -hmm. cancer and diabetes pressure. Mm -hmm. I've learned, I've learned how to thank God even under pressure. Everything and every day, God is still worthy, worthy to be praised. Somebody asked me, why preacher do we thank God in everything because the bad things can turn out to be good things have I got a witness somebody asked me brother pastor why do we say thank you even on dark days because even when the darkness comes the sun will shine after a while I wish I had a few witnesses here somebody oh my lord who can testify God can make the bad stuff work for your good. Yes, sir. God can make the good stuff be good. But then God, my God, oh Lord, he can turn the bad stuff for your good. That's why when trouble comes, you need to tell God thank you. That's why when hell is in your home, you need to tell God thank you. That's why when your job is burdensome, you need to tell God thank you. God wants a thank you because it's in the bad stuff that the good stuff shows up. What do you mean, preacher? My Lord and my Savior, Jesus died. Dr. Smith, in what seemed like a bad situation, have I got a witness? He died. I said he died. That sound kind of bad, don't it? He was only 33 years old. He died. A young man. He had only been preaching, teaching, healing, and saving three short years. That sounds like a bad thing. He only lived long enough to train 12 men of what he needed to be done when he would be away. That sounds kind of bad. Well, <laughs> It 
sound kind of bad. Yes, sir, Lord. But I thank the Lord that even though it sound bad, bad Friday is now called Good Friday. Black Friday is now called Good Friday. Bloody Friday is now called Good Friday. Because they put nails in his hands before he died. They put nails in his feet before he died. They put a hole. In his side before he died, and the blood, the blood came streaming down. Thank God, because there's power in that blood. I'm saved on that bad day because of the blood that was shed. Good Friday, good evening, our church. Good night, now, warriors. I've got to leave. I've got to leave you. I've got to let you go. But in everything, give thanks. I wish I had at least 50 of you all who can just say, I thank God in everything. When I feel like it, I thank God. When I don't feel like it, I still thank God. When I'm up, I thank God. When I'm down, I thank God. Hallelujah. With one good hand, I thank God. With both of my hands, I thank God. Hallelujah. Praise your name, Jesus. I thank God in everything. That bad Friday in the end of the story. I like it, Dr. Smith. It's a few preachers around that still tell the story. He died, yes, sir. But hey, I, I feel pretty good now. Early Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. I got to leave you. But I wear this cross often as I can just to remind myself that God can make a bad thing work out for your good. Is there anybody here who can testify God can make a bad thing work out for your good? Have I got a witness? Is there anybody here that can testify God can? Turn it around. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord. I, 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I want you to take about 60 seconds and thank God under pressure. Maybe pressure in your life, but wherever you are, whatever you're going through, whatever you're dealing with, I. I want you to take about 60 seconds and just say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I worship you. Hallelujah to your holy name. Glory to your holy name. You're working it out. I thank you. You're making a way. I thank you. You're opening the door. I thank you. And if the storms don't cease, and if the wind keep blowing, I thank you. Cause my soul has been, my soul has been. 
Yes, sir. Lord, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I praise you. I worship you. I lift you up. I magnify your name. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your peace. Thank you for your joy. Thank you for your strength. Is there anybody here who can say, I still have joy? You're worthy. Ah, worthy. Ah, worthy. Hallelujah. The doors of the church open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. <laughs> you need to come to Jesus with you. You need to come to Jesus right now. If you're here, if you're in this virtual worship and you're not saved, you need to come to Jesus. You need to come to Jesus. Tell the Lord, here I am. Tell the Lord, here I am. Lord, I thank you. The door is open. <laughs> Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. You've been, you've been, ah, you've been, you've been, you've been, 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 been good to me. Is there anybody can say that today? Throw some hearts up, throw some thumbs up, wave your hand wherever you are. And just say, Lord, I thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Wonderful Jesus. Lord, I thank you. You've been, you've been, you've been, you've been, 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 been so good to me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's all right. God sure can change things. Even when it's bad, y'all. Hang on in there. God sure can change things. <laughs> God sure can change things. Yes. Yes. Ah, yes. Yes, he can. Is there one? 
Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Thank God. Thank God today. Oh, thank God today. <laughs> He's good, I tell you. It is in these days that we have to praise under pressure. The pressure of the political system that we're under right now. The pressure of police brutality. The pressure of crime, contamination, corruption. The pressure of family sometimes, friends, colleagues, co-workers, even church folk. In everything, in everything, give thanks. Even in the pandemic, in everything. That's it, son. Give thanks. For this is the will of God concerning you. With the elevation of your right hand, if you're thankful for the word today, just say, wonderful, Jesus. With the elevation of your right hand, would you say, wonderful, Jesus? Would you say, wonderful, Jesus? Bless you, Sister Plain. Bless you, Evangelist Dorothy Miller. I bless you, Sister Henry, Sister Sutton. Bless you. This is a guy to Brother Holmes, bless you. Digging his finger to bless you. Sister Kena, Gwen and Charlie, and Ned and Ben, bless you all. Sue Ford, bless you. Mary Barbara. I'm asking, uh, I want to take the time and just thank God on last Sunday. Sister Hackney and Brother Cribs united with this congregation on last Sunday. <laughs> Amen. Let's give God praise. We had two to unite with us last Sunday virtually. We had two to join with us. I want to thank God for all of the wedding anniversaries and birthdays in the month of September. All of the wedding anniversaries and birthdays in the month of September. We thank God for you. September is a good month to have anything in. <laughs> Did you hear me, precious? September is a good month to have anything in. We've done our best to preach today. As you can see, we've got some issues, but our issues don't stop us. We preach under pressure. <laughs> we praise under pressure. We hold to the promise under pressure. I think next week, and I'm like Dr. Smith. Dr. Smith comes on every Sunday night at 11 o'clock with the inspirational hour on Facebook. And he said the other day he ended up running a series of sermons that he had not planned on and I I guess the Holy Spirit decided to do that with me as well we talked about the promise last week under pressure today we talked about praise under pressure if the Lord say the same tomorrow uh, next Sunday rather we'll talk about praying under pressure and uh, we will talk about praying under pressure if the Lord say the same, Elder Johnson. Okay, bring the mic. All right, very yeah, good. Yeah, we want folk to know we're doing the right thing. That's good. Let me honor the Lord that's, that's preeminent in this room today. Didn't our pastor preach today? Amen. Amen. 
we're saying on next Sunday, we're going to have a birthday drive-by for our pastor. It's his 33rd birthday, and we want to bless him. We want to tell him to keep on keeping on. We're going to ask all of our members and our friends, join us. We're just going to put $33 in a car, but we're going to, we want to fill this driveway next Sunday at 1 o'clock to say blessed birthday to the man of God, our pastor, Pastor Ryan Patrick Johnson. Come on and say yes, Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Elder. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. On the fourth Sunday at five o'clock, I want you to make sure you're tuned in virtually. We're just two weeks away, just two Sundays away. Fourth Sunday at five o'clock. We want you to be on our Greater Burnett social media outlets. We want you to be with us uh, as we hear and receive the initial sermon of Brother Cordell Grantham. He will be preaching his initial sermon the fourth Sunday, five o'clock. And we want you to tune in virtually to this sanctuary you can hear what God has and will say through this young man that the Lord has called to preach the gospel in these last and evil days. I am overwhelmed and overjoyed I was thinking about it the other day and almost started crying there at home because I know the blessing and burden of being called to the ministry. But what God calls you to, he will take you through. And so we are going to encourage this young man. We're going to lift this young man. We're going to support this young man as he steps out on faith and heeds the call of God on his life. I love you. I miss you. And we are be seeing each other real soon. I'll be praying for you and I ask you to pray for me I ask you to keep me in prayer I ask you to keep my family my wife's family the Thompson family and your prayers will be going to bury my wife's great great aunt who lived to be 103 years old. We thank God for that long life. Sister Lula Bell Thompson, absent from the body, present with the Lord. We look forward to seeing you real soon. I'll tell you when but I promise it'll be sooner than later. Thank you, Sister Wilma Ruffin. Some of you know her as Sister Wilma Orange. God healed her and her husband, our COVID survivors. Her and her husband, our COVID survivors. All to the glory of God. All to the glory of God. What's key are we in? We're still in B, B flat. Let's go to C sharp. I want to leave this thought with you as we prepare for tomorrow's. I keep saying tomorrow. Maybe I need to preach something this week. I'll let you know. 
I keep saying something about tomorrow. I forgot. That's what I forgot. Don't forget the ministry of giving. That's what I forgot. The ministry of giving. You can give via Cash App, via Givelify. You can give via our greatervernet.org website. You can give by mailing your tithes to 16801 Schoolcraft, Detroit, Michigan, 48227. You can give by coming by every Friday from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., the Ministry of Giving. We've asked you to partner with us by planting a seed of faith as we transition into this season from summer to fall as we're preparing to go into the latter part of this year and going into it. We've asked you to sow a seed of $20, a seed of faith. You can give that also via those outlets, any of those outlets. Plant your seed of faith for the harvest. God will bring it back. The law of reciprocity, it will come back 30, 60, even 100 fold. I've learned to pray in and out of season. Any time for any reason, prayer is the key. Faith unlocks the door. Ask in his name, and it shall be done. He'll hear every word you say. Why you calling? He's on his way. Woo! Prayer will fix it every time. We going home. I've learned to pray. In and out of season, any time for any reason. Why is the key? Faith unlocks the door. Ask in his name, and it shall be done. He'll hear every word you say. Why you calling? He's on his way. Woo! Well, we'll fix it every time. Oh, prayer every time. Oh, he's never too busy. He's always on the line. He'll hear every word you say. Why are you calling? He's on his way. Woo! When you pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven. Say, hallowed be thy holy name. He'll hear every word you say. Why are you calling? He's on his way. Woo! Heaven fix it. Oh, oh, prayer. Prayer will. Prayer will. Prayer will. If you believe, you shall receive. If you believe, you shall receive. Oh, prayer. Oh, prayer. Oh, prayer will. Yes, it will. If you believe, you shall receive. Ask in my name. Oh, in his name. Oh, in his name. If you believe, call him in the morning, call him in the evening, call him in the noonday, call him in the midnight. Oh, prayer! Oh, prayer will! Oh, prayer will! Oh, prayer will! Prayer will! Now unto him who's able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before his throne with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I love each and every one of you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. See you next time.
But until then, oh, prayer, oh, prayer will, oh, prayer, oh, prayer will, in the morning, in the evening, in the midnight hour, he'll give me power, oh, prayer. Oh, prayer, oh, prayer, 